Hi guys, so here is your lesson for Monday, May 4th. Um, today's lesson is going to be on monthly payment. Um, basically, we're going to take a, a closer look at um, the amount you're paying towards your mortgage loan per month and where that money is going. Okay, so let's read the paragraph first. Okay, most mortgage loans are repaid in equal monthly payments. Each payment includes an amount for payment of interest, an amount of payment for towards the principal of interest, an amount of payment of the principal of the loan, or the amount borrowed to finance the mortgage. The amount of interest is calculated using the simple interest formula. Okay, so we're going to talk about three formulas today. Interest, payment to the principal, and the new principal. So basically what that means, okay, is let's say for example you have you take a loan for a hundred thousand dollars okay your monthly payment is approximately five hundred dollars now that five hundred dollars that you're paying okay is going to two places it's going to the principal the principal is just the amount that you took out on the loan the amount that you have left to pay back to the bank and remember the interest okay is the amount is the money that the bank makes so let's say, for example, this $500 that you paid this month, really, in the beginning, only a small amount of that goes to the principal. Let's say $50 goes to your principal. The rest of that, 500 minus 50 is 450, the rest of that money is going to interest, okay? Meaning, this is what the bank makes. Okay, that's the money they're making off of you. You're paying them $450 this month just to borrow money, okay? The $50 that you're paying towards the principal means that that $100,000 that you borrowed, next month you're only going to owe $99,950. Or or so that's the amount left you have in the principal. I know it doesn't seem fair, but this is early on in your payments. Remember, most mortgages are 30 years, okay? And if we look at the graph here, okay, as time goes on, so as time is increasing, each payment that you make, okay, the interest payment is going down. So you can see on the blue line here, the interest paying payment is going down and the principal payment is going up. So at the start, in year one, on your first payment, you're paying a lot towards interest. You're paying a little bit towards the principal balance. But towards the end of your, your payments, let's say in year 29, year 30, you're paying the most towards your principal and the least in interest. That's just how it works with the banks. All right, let's look at some problems, okay? It's really just about knowing how to use these formulas. So, Rob and Carrie obtained a 30-year $80,000 mortgage loan from State Bank and Trust. The interest rate is 8%, and their monthly payment is $587.20. That should say is. For the first payment, what is the interest? So, we know they're paying $587. Basically, what we want to figure out is, from that number... Which, how much is going to interest and how much is going to the principal balance? Okay, so we're going to first calculate the interest. So the interest is just the principal times the rate. So the principal is your loan. There's my principal. Okay, so 80,000 times the rate. The rate is always your percentage, but we need it as a decimal. So 8% as a decimal is 0 0.08. Remember, move the decimal place over two places. So times 0 0.08. And you can put this all on your calculator. You can do 80,000 times 0 0.08 with parentheses. You need to have these parentheses divided by 12. And if you type that into your calculator, you should get approximately $533.33. Okay, that's the amount you're paying in interest every month. So in order to figure out um, how much principal we're paying, we take our monthly payment. Now our monthly payment was this, 
$587.20, and we subtract the interest that we found, $533.33. Okay, if you subtract those two numbers, you should get $53.87. So this is the interest, and this is the principal. If you add these two numbers up, you should get your monthly payment, okay, of $587.20. Now, what we use this number, the principal, for is we figure out what's the new principal. Well, the previous balance means it's my old principal, so I borrowed $80,000. That's the That was the old balance. Now I just paid some of it off, right? I paid my payment to the principal, which is this number here, okay? I subtract. If you subtract those two numbers, you get $79,946.13. So that's how much you still have left to pay off the loan. So it just, just to reiterate, okay, you look at your monthly payment, which is $587.20, and you have two pieces to it, right? You have your interest and you have your principal. The interest was $533.33. The principal was only $53.87. You only use the principal to subtract from your previous balance. Okay? Remember, this is the money that the bank's making. They're making that much money off of you. This is the money that's getting subtracted from your, your previous balance. So now you only owe this much. Okay? So three things. The interest, the principal and your new principal for next month. Next month, you're gonna be using this number to figure out what the new interest rate is and how much you're paying towards the principal. So in the next slide, we're gonna take a look at an example of that. Okay, so basically it says, using the new principal from example one, with the second payment, find the interest, the payment to the principal, and the new principal. So basically, we paid, we paid the first month's bill. Okay, now we're going to pay the second month's bill using this number. So I'm going to rewrite that. 79,946. 946.13. So this is the new number we're going to use. Okay? So for the interest, the new principal is $79,946.13 times the rate does not change. The rate before was 8%, so we're still multiplying it by 0 0.08. Okay, remember parentheses? And if you multiply in parentheses and divide by 12, you should get $532.97. Okay, so now we go to the, the payment to the principal. We know what the interest is. Okay, remember... The monthly payment, okay, the monthly payment does not change each month. The monthly payment is $587, I'll put it here, $587.20. Piece of that is going to the interest, which was $532.97, and the other piece is going to the principal. Okay, that's what we want to figure out, how much is going towards the principal. So... Like Just like before, we take the monthly payment, which is $587.20, and we subtract the interest, 532.97. And you get, when you subtract them, $54.23. So we know the principal is $54.23. Okay? Now we find our new balance again, so that for month three, we have a new balance, right? We know that we owed... $79,946.13 minus what we're paying to the principal, $54.23. Okay, if you subtract those two numbers, the new amount that you owe for next month is $79,892.08. Okay, so if you notice, this is month number one. This is month number two. I'll put M. Month number one, month number two. Okay, the principal, or the interest, 
should go down from each month to the next. So 533 goes down to 532. The principal balance should be going up. 5387, 5423. Okay, just like I said, the interest each month will decrease while the principal is increasing. Your monthly payment never changes. Okay, your monthly payment is not going to change. That's going to be consistent. It's just a matter of taking that payment and figuring out where your money is going to the interest of the principal each month. So again, as you get towards the end of your payment term here, you're paying the most to the principal and the least to the interest. All right, one more example, and then we'll finish up here. So Amelia obtained a 20-year... Um, $36,000 mortgage loan from Society Trust Company. The interest rate is 11.5%. Her monthly payment is $383.76. Use this portion of the repayment schedule to find the remaining debt after the payment numbers 42 and 43. So what it's basically telling us is we're starting at four, payment 42, and we want to figure out the payments, the new principal for payment 42 and 43. So... We need to do some work here, so we're going to split this up into two. Let's do payment number 42 over here, and we'll do payment number 43 on this side. Okay, so for payment number 42, we're using the number from the old principal, okay, to determine this. So the interest, remember the interest is your principal balance times the rate. Okay, and the rate here, it said in the problem, is 11.5%. Well, 11.5% is the same thing as 0.115. Decimal two places, 1, 2. So we're timesing it by 0.115, and we're dividing it by 12. Okay, if you do that in your calculator with parentheses, you should get $67.78. Okay, the payment to the principal. Remember, we're taking the principal or the, the monthly payment, which is three eighty three seventy six, and we subtract the interest. Okay, when you subtract those numbers, you get three fifteen point nine eight. And you can also fill this in. The amount of interest is sixty seven point seventy eight. 315.98 and now we're going to find the new principal so the new principal equals your old principal minus what you're paying to the principal and when you subtract those numbers you get 6756.38 Okay, so that's for payment 42, and now we're going to do payment 43. Okay, payment 43, same process. Okay, we take the interest, although now we have a new bal a new principal balance. Okay, so we take our new balance, well, the new number we owe, 756.33, oops. Times the rate never changes divided by 12. Okay, multiply the numbers inside the parentheses, divide by 12, and you get 64.75. So that's the interest for month 42. The payment to the principal. Okay, we take our monthly payment. That does not change. 383.76 minus 64.75. And you get $319 and one penny. And finally, the new principal balance. Okay, we take our old principal balance and we subtract the payment to the principal. And you get $6,436.38. is your new principal balance, the new amount you owe. 
So you'll notice, guys, look at the amount of interest here. Okay, the amount of interest is going down each month while the payment to the principal is going up each month. Your new balance, your new principal balance should always go down because it means you're paying money towards what you owe. All right, guys, that's it for today. Take a look at the assignment. Good luck. Um, please contact me if you need any help.